ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு நரேஷ் ஷெட்டி மை நேம் இஸ் சதீஷ் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஆல்ரெடி த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஜேசன் அண்டு ஜாக்சன் ஏபிஐ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு பி டிஸ்கஸிங் ஹவு டு கன்வெர்ட் ஜாவா ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன்டூ ஜேசன் ஜேசன் இன்டூ ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ரோக்ராமெட்டிக்கலி ஓகே ஸோ இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஆல்ரெடி வி டிஸ்கஸ்டு ஜாக்சன் ஏபிஐ இஸ் ப்ரொவைடட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் மேப்பர் கிளாஸ் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் மேப்பர் கிளாஸ் ஜாவா ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன்டூ ஜேசன் அண்ட் ஜேசன் இன்டூ ஜாவா ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இந்த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் மேப்பர் கிளாஸ் டோட்டல் டூ இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஒன் இஸ் ரைட் வேல்யூ ஆட் ஸ்ட்ரிங் திஸ் மெத்தட் இஸ் யூஸ் டு கன்வெர்ட் ஜாவா ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன்டூ ஜேசன் read value method this method is used to convert json into java object okay so now i am going to be using these two methods to convert java object into json and json into java object by using object mapper class so to convert java object into json json into java object now i am going to be using object mapper class this object mapper is given by jackson api so first of all to work with the jackson api we required to be download the jackson api jar we know jackson api is having two versions 1.x version and 2.x version so now i am going to be using jackson 1.x version so to use object mapper class now we are going to be using jackson 1.x version so now i am going to be downloading the jackson 1.x jars so if you want to work with the jackson api we require to be use now two jars in the application class path what are the two jars is one is jackson mapper asl one is a jackson mapper asl another one is jackson core so first i am going to be downloading jackson mapper asl jar yeah similarly next i am going to be searching for jackson core yeah jackson core asl yeah in 1.x version in 1.x version here the last version is 1.9.13 jackson core asl so to work with jackson api now we required we use two jars jackson mapper asl and jackson core asl jackson mapper asl and jackson core asl jackson mapper also download same version that is 1.9.13 1.9.13 so both i am maintaining with the same versions okay now the jars downloaded i am going to be creating now our application file new java project jackson api example okay now include the two jars in the application build path build path configure build path libraries add external jars Uh, just now already we downloaded two jars one is jackson core asl another one is jackson mapper asl jackson core asl and jackson mapper asl so these two jars are required in the application build path to work with the jackson api okay so first i wanted to convert my java object into json so to convert java object into json first of all i am going to be creating one domain class one domain class that is nothing but one java bean class i am going to be creating for example here i am going to be creating a class with the name of employee employee com dot narrate dot com dot narrate dot bean so now this employee is acting as one java bean or it is also called as what one domain object okay now i want to convert this employee object data into 
json okay now i want to convert this employee object data into json so here employee implements implements serializable it is a java bean object the employee contains some private data members like private int emp number private string name private double salary employee number name and salary so here generate setter methods and getter methods okay in this project i want to write java to json and json to java type conversion code only one time and i want to reuse many number of times in the project so to write one time and to reuse in the project now i am going to be creating one helper class that is also called as utility class in general in the helper class or utility class we can create only the static members means static variable static methods and static blocks so once if you are writing the code in the helper class that code is possible to reuse any number of times in the project in the project many number of times we can convert java to json json to java so again again creating of object mapper calling of write value as string read value methods handling of those exceptions are increasing the burden so due to that reason now i am going to be writing the logic in a helper class and the logic now i wanted to reuse so here i am creating my helper class with the name of i am creating now my helper class with the name of json util i am creating my helper class with the name of json util okay this class now contain two methods one is convert java to json and another one is convert json to java okay here the package name com dot narrative dot the util in json util first i am going to be creating one variable private static that is object mapper variable i am going to be creating yeah just now we discussed jackson api the jackson api is given one class to convert java to json json to java that is object mapper now i want to create just object mapper class object only one time in entire project i want to create the object mapper class object only one time so to create object class object mapper class object only one time so now i am taking a static block in the static block now i am going to be constructing the object mapper so the static block is executing whenever json util class byte json util class byte code is loading into the jvm and the static block is executing only one time so object mapper is also be creating only one time in the process okay now i am going to be writing one method like public static yeah now i want to convert my java object into json whenever i am converting my java object into json the generated json is coming as one of the string the generated json is coming one of the string so here due to that reason now i am going to be writing my method return type as a string and method name is convert java to json convert java to json meaningful method i am writing so the logic to convert java to json the logic now i am going to be writing in this method now this method is acting as one helper method this method now possible to call anywhere in the project with the help of this class name so when you are calling this method just the method is converting the given java object into json and directly returning that json as a string so here because of this the method parameter now i am maintaining as a object means which object do you want to convert into json the object here we can pass as a parameter at the time of calling of this method so now how to use this object mapper to convert the java object into json i'm sir right value as a string right value as a string okay of object 
yeah when we are calling now right value as string of object the given object now converting into json and uh, the json returning as a string value so your json response sorry json result otherwise uh, now concentrate here when we are calling the right value as string method it is required we handle total three exceptions it is required we handle three exceptions so now first of all i wanted to handle that exceptions first i am creating a local variable json result is equal to empty empty string return json result return json result okay now here i am going to be handling the three exceptions so what are the exceptions required to be handled when we are converting the java object into json is one is json generation exception another one is json mapping exception and another one is io exception okay here i am writing some meaningful information system dot out dot uh, printl enough exception occurred while converting java object into json while converting java object into json here the description of the exception i am trying to display e dot get message same system dot out dot printl i am going to be using now in these three catch blocks that is in json generation exception in json mapping exception and in io exception so first of all try to understand why i am taking this utility class and this utility method is if you are not taking this utility class and utility method again 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 handling of these three exceptions calling of this method is increasing the burden suppose if you are taking utility method the logic we are writing one time your exception handling everything here we are writing one time so in the project anywhere it is required we convert the object into json just with the help of the class name call this method the method is using this right value as string method from object mapper and converting into json and returning that json result so just only for reusability purpose taking this utility class okay so right now i am only implemented the logic to convert the java object into json so now it is working or not once i want to test so it is working or not to test now i am going to be creating one simple main method class main method class test com dot narrate dot client yeah in this main method class now first of all i am going to be creating my employee object employee emp is equal to new employee emp dot set emp number like 201 emp dot set name rama emp dot set salary 20000 so this is my java object now our main goal is we want to convert this object into json so for this already we have json util json util dot convert java to json here pass emp object then the given emp object is uh, converting into json so string json employee json employee just understanding purpose now i am going to be displaying this json employee object the json is producing or not once i want to check execute the application yes so our java object is a converted into json yeah this is a generated json this type of format is using by specially web service program okay to exchange the data from 
client application to server, server to client. This is an understanding by Java application, understanding by .NET, understanding by PHP, understanding by AngularJS, understanding by JavaScript, understanding by iPhone, any technology application also understand this JSON format. Because this JSON is interoperable, there is nothing but language independent and platform independent. In the next video, in the next video, I will show how to convert how to convert this json into this json into java object so in this video just we discussed how to convert json into java so in the next video i will show how to convert json into java object okay thank you for watching